Hi everyone, this is Kevin from PCI Geomatics. Thanks for joining us today. I'd like to give you a demonstration on some new tools we've added to Geomatica 2014, which are going to greatly simplify the ortho mosaicing process for complex features such as overpasses. Overpasses in high resolution air photo mapping projects are notoriously difficult to ortho rectify and mosaic. This is mainly due to the high resolution imagery which is collected and the changes in elevation in this small area. A high resolution, very accurate DM is required to ensure that the features are correctly aligning, the edges are matching along the edge of the overpass, and the overall look of the overpass is of high quality. Typically, this process might involve the creation of multiple overlapping ortho images, which are blended together in non-geospatially aware software, maybe like Photoshop or GIMP or something like that. Needless to say, this interrupts the workflow and can create problems since the geospatial information needs to be translated and there could also be issues with loss of dynamic range due to a need to convert the bit depth of the imagery. Using live DEM editing and smart geofill together, I'm going to show you how we can fix a complex overpass in a matter of minutes as opposed to hours or even possibly days. We'll do this demonstration in two parts. First, we'll take the existing DSM which was generated from the stereo imagery and correct all the elevation and features on the DEM to ensure we have a good, high quality DEM to work with. We'll do this in the DEM editing panel and essentially we'll build up the overpass from scratch using the surrounding elevation. Secondly, once we have corrected the elevation for the overpass, we'll use the smart geofill tool to select the best ortho over the different portions of the overpass. And we'll paste them into our final mosaic. This is gonna help us achieve a high quality final ortho mosaic product, all within Geomatica. Let's get started. All right, so the first part of the demonstration is to fix the uh, elevation on this uh, complex overpass. Uh, the uh, starting point of this uh, demonstration is the uh, stereo overlapping imagery. So if I come over to my uh, folder here where I have my, my uh, data set, uh, you can see that I have 15 centimeter uh, overlapping stereo imagery, which was run through Ortho Engine in order to generate the uh, digital surface model. And from that, we can use the uh, editing tools to filter out uh, the um, surface features to get down to a uh, digital terrain model and use those for ortho rectification. But as you can see, if I load that up in my um, focus window, uh, this is what the uh, digital surface model looks like using the, um, uh, that's been interpolated using Ortho Engine. And we have some problems. Uh, if I zoom in a little bit closer here, uh, you can see that we have uh, some issues because we have multiple layers uh, all within a very small area. If I toggle between the imagery and the uh, DSM, you can see that we have uh, under, uh, essentially we have three layers or maybe even four different elevations within a very small area. We have this uh, road that's here underneath, which is the main highway that passes through. There's uh, an overpass that's uh, running in this direction here. And then there's, there's a third overpass which is running in, in the opposite direction. So when the uh, digital surface model was created, uh, we, en we ended up with some interpolation errors and so when we go to create ortho products from this, uh, from this area, we have, we have some issues. I'll pull up the one-to-one -one preview of uh, what our ortho is going to look like if we generate it uh, using the um, DSM as it is now or the uh, di digital um, elevation model as it is currently. And you can see that we have some distortions. Uh, looks like we have some pretty major distortions here where the elevation changes quite a bit. And uh, we also have uh, some, some distortion. See if I, I, if I turn on the flicker tool, you can see some of these a little bit more clearly, which is a great way to, to, uh, to do QA. Uh, so we can see some distortions along the edges where the, sh there's a sharp change in elevation between the two different layers. And, uh, essentially we, we need to fix this. And the way we'll do this is we'll actually, uh, fix all of the elevation for the different parts of the overpass, uh, piece by piece. So the first thing I'll do within the DM editing panel is I'll open up a, a layer that's going to um, essentially allow me to fix the, uh, the elevation values. 
So first I'll fix the, uh, the bridge. So I'll load that up. And what we've done in this case is we've actually uh, created polygons along the edge of the bridge uh, very precisely by uh, changing uh, our selection on the orthos. And, uh, and so we've created this, this uh, very precise polygon by hand drawing it uh, on top of the imagery to help us essentially fix the problems with the elevation. So I've loaded up the vectors which have been pre-drawn over this uh, complex overpass. And uh, as you can see, the uh, live DM editor includes a number of different operations that are specifically designed for repairing, editing and smoothing roads, ramps and bridges, as well as cleaning up the surrounding areas. Uh, these tools are essentially a road median filter and road average filter. We have an opposite ends fill tool and also fill from vertices. These are available here in the uh, pull down menu. And I'm gonna to start to select each polygon and uh, go ahead and start uh, applying the edits to the uh, elevation. So we're going to logically work our way from the top to the bottom and fix the elevation. So the first thing we'll do is we will select our topmost polygon and we're going to choose a filter which is specifically made for fixing these ty types of issues. It's called the road average filter and so the road average filter can have a different size. We're going to increase it up to 50. And uh, we'll use apply with overwrite. What this will do is it will apply the value um, no matter where, uh, even if it overlaps with the polygon. So here you'll see that it crosses a couple of different polygons and it's just going to apply that. The next lowest level below that is uh, this on-ramp here. And you can see that we need to connect it from, uh, from, from this spot here and connect it up to the uh, topmost overpass. So once again, we'll apply with overwrite. And we'll just keep working our way logically. So the next uh, section we'll apply the same filter to is uh, this uh, part of the uh, other uh, ramp, which uh, comes up off the, uh, the west side of the highway here. So we'll apply that. Then we'll work our way across. We'll apply this one. And the last one is a little bit different. This one's a little bit trickier because we don't want to destroy the elevation that we've created on the overpass. And so what we'll do is we'll pick a different type of uh, terrain filter. We'll use the opposite ends fill method. So what this will do is it will take the elevation value uh, here where this polygon touches the uh, newly created elevation and the elevation values at the opposite end here. And rather than clicking apply with overwrite, which would destroy the elevation, what we're going to do is we're going to just simply click apply. And you can see what that does is it preserves the uh, proper elevation so that we have the stacking of the uh, overpasses. The next thing I'll do is I'll open another set of layers or another set of vectors rather. And uh, this is for the underlying roads. So recall that we're working our way down from the top to the bottom. So now we're working on the uh, highway itself. We'll click the westernmost portion of the road and we'll once again pick the opposite ends fill. What this will do is it will take the elevation from the opposite ends of this polygon and we'll hit uh, apply in this case. Again, we wanna preserve the elevation that we've created on top and simply fix the underlying elevation. This will get rid of all these problem areas that you're seeing here where the DSM interpolation had some, some problems. We'll pick the next polygon and we'll click apply once again and uh, there you have it. So we have our, our completely fixed elevation and uh, we can uh, use our one-to-one -one ortho preview to see what that's going to look like, see if that's getting rid of some of the uh, problems that we were having. So if I load up the one-to-one uh, -one, uh, preview and I zoom in here at one-to-one, -one, you can see that I've got nice clean edges along these different uh, elevation valleys, if you will, these different parts of the overpass and uh, we no longer have these distortions along the edge. So quite, quite a nice result, very easy to fix. And we're just in a matter of minutes here, we've fixed the elevation values of the, of the overpass so that we can go to the next step and uh, really clean up this overpass and make it look uh, as best as we can.